Do you think that snow is always light and fluffy? Actually, it's capable of being solid and dangerous. One single snowflake could kill you. That is, if you find yourself on the exoplanet Coros 7b in the Monoceros constellation. Astronomers believe that it snows in the form of stones there. However, it's not necessary to go so far. No less fantastic snowfalls occur within the Earth. But to see them, you have to not look up, but deep down. Of course, we cannot literally peer into the very depths of the Earth nor pull something out from within its depths. The geophysics of the interior of the planet are explored using seismic waves and modeling. But the results of experiments don't always agree with generally accepted models of its structure. So it's believed that in the very heart of the Earth, there's a solid inner core with a radius of about 1,300 kilometers, that's 808 miles. It's surrounded by a liquid outer core, about 2,200 kilometers, or 1,367 miles thick. The result of many years of work by different research groups was something called the Preliminary Reference Earth Model, or PREM, a model of the Earth. It describes how the density of a substance, pressure, Gravity and other parameters change with depth. However, not so long ago, data was obtained that contradicts this model. It turned out that in the lower part of the outer core, seismic waves change speed more slowly than previously thought. The inner core also presented a surprise. Through the upper part of its eastern hemisphere, the waves propagated faster than through a similar region of the Western Hemisphere. Geophysicists from Sichuan University in China and the University of Texas at Austin decided to shed light on the dark sides of the center of the Earth. Researchers have created a model of the outer and inner core of the Earth based on new indicators. The results were stunning. It turned out that at the very heart of the planet, snow falls non-stop. Of course, this is not the ordinary precipitation from frozen water that we're used to. The lower layer of the outer core is filled with snowflakes of crystallized iron. They fall to the surface of the solid inner core and gather there in huge snowdrifts up to 300 kilometers or 186.4 miles in height. Moreover, this so-called precipitation covers the inner core with a layer of varying thickness so it doesn't have a clear boundary. According to the researchers, this layer of crystallized iron affects the speed of seismic waves. The authors also suggest that this layer of iron snow in the eastern hemisphere of the inner core is thicker than in the Western Hemisphere. This explains the mysterious asymmetry. In their study, the geophysicists compared the settling of iron particles with well-studied processes in the magma chambers of volcanoes. Minerals that crystallize first from molten magma sink to the bottom of their source. In the core, the compaction of iron increases its internal part of the core and reduces the external part. Scientists note that the theory of iron snowfalls in the center of the Earth isn't new. In the early 1960s, Soviet geophysicist Stanislav Braginsky suggested that between the inner core and the outer layer, there are solid particles of iron suspended in a liquid medium. However, at that time, studies didn't confirm this theory. New experimental results have brought scientists to Braginsky's theory. Recent studies in the physics of minerals suggest that iron, silicon, and oxygen compounds can actually solidify. As a result, about 15% of the lowest part of the outer core is composed of snowflakes of crystallized iron. Scientists have yet to confirm their hypothesis based on data from geophysical modeling with numerous experiments. At the same time, they hope to learn more about other mysteries of the center of our planet. So. 
the composition of the inner core is still not precisely defined. According to the most widely accepted theory, it contains 85% iron and 10% nickel. The remaining 5% may be carbon, silicon, or some other element. There's also an assumption that the outer core is formed from metallic hydrogen. So, here's another problem that experimenters will have to solve in the future. It's known that the inner core rotates a little faster than the rest of the planet. Why this difference in speed has arisen is still not clearly understood. We can say that we generally know less about what's happening under our feet than we do about space. And the core of the Earth is one of the least studied objects. The core is associated with many vital processes on the surface of the planet. For example, the formation of the magnetic field, the heat released in the inner core as a result of nuclear reactions leads to the convective movement of liquid matter in the outer core, just like fire under a pot makes the water in it move. The rotation of the Earth around its axis turns this system into a dynamo that generates the Earth's magnetic field. With the critical shrinking of the liquid layer of the nucleus, we risk being left without this protection from the destructive flow of cosmic radiation. The core also affects the movement of tectonic plates. Researchers believe that the temperature difference in the central regions of the Earth and the crust causes convection, heat, gravity currents in the mantle, which in turn facilitates the movement of the plates. Also, the processes in the core are often likely the cause of various natural disasters on our planet. Recently, a group of geophysicists from the University of California, Berkeley, led by Barbara Romanowitz, scanned the Earth to a depth of 1,000 kilometers, or 621.371 miles, using seismic waves. They saw a strange and fantastic landscape there. Under the mantle, instruments recorded a stormy ocean of molten iron, which presents itself as the liquid outer core. The storms in the metallic ocean are supposedly capable of causing powerful earthquakes. Over the past 100 years, each of the five serious jumps from 25 to 30 percent in the number of earthquakes of magnitude greater than 7.0 coincided with a slowdown in the Earth's rotation around its axis. Why this is happening, scientists just can't say for sure. One theory offers the explanation of the periodicity of the so-called lithospheric overshoot. This is the name of the phenomenon in which the speed of the cortex becomes much greater than the speed of rotation of the liquid core under it. In addition, Scientists from the University of California discovered some strange and mysterious structures inside the Earth. They somewhat resemble mountains of sand connected by gravel pits, but it's not known what their density is relative to the mantle. Geophysicist Sane Kotar of the University of Cambridge believes that they look like massive mountains. One of the highest peaks is located under the Pacific Ocean, the other under Africa and partially under the Atlantic Ocean, and each one is the size of an entire continent. Scientists believe that these pillars can be 100 times higher than Mount Everest. If the peaks were on the surface of the planet, the International Space Station would have to fly around them. Such a landscape is likely to contribute to plate tectonics and volcanic eruptions. However, seismic waves don't give a complete picture of the underground landscapes. To confirm the incredible theories about iron snowfalls in the core and mantle ridges, scientists apparently will have to penetrate to the very center of the Earth. To do this, Japanese researchers created the project Chikyu Haken, Japanese for Earth Discovery. 
They plan to look into the very bowels of the planet with the help of the Japanese drilling vessel Chikyu, equipped with a drill 10,000 meters or 32,808 feet long. Scientists want to begin work by 2030. The Japanese program is part of the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program, or IODP. The researchers will try to better understand the Earth's mantle. If the plan succeeds, it will be possible to go further and reach down to the planet's core. And who knows, maybe one day in a future video, I'll show you how iron snow sweeps the core of the planet. Most likely, other strange, unimaginable things are hidden in the center of our world that we'll never be able to see. So what do you think? Can we actually see what's hiding in the heart of the Earth? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell to enable notifications of new videos. And don't forget to recommend us to your friends, because together, it's always much more fun. Until next time.